Yo, what is going on guys? It's Brian Amy here. Welcome back to a brand new Modern Warfare beta video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys my review of the game as well as talk about a couple of topics and how I think this game will play for the next year's Call of Duty. Firstly, the gameplay that you're seeing in the background are some of my first games on, so it's just a couple of clips, it's just some footage, and I also have a good eight hours or so worth of more footage that you guys are probably seeing in the next couple of weeks. Let's get into the review. Whenever I first started playing Modern Warfare within the alpha stage, I had a lot of fun with it, although the game did feel like it wasn't complete yet. It felt like it was an alpha, which I guess makes sense. But whenever I was playing this beta, just from the very first game on, I could already feel the difference within the controls, within the graphical improvement, just the smoothness of the game overall. It was, it was a massive improvement from the alpha. This game as a whole, I think, does fit within the Call of Duty genre. I think it fits very well within the realistic, back to the roots of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is how I feel this game fares. Now, as for if this game is you know tailored for one player or another, I do think it's more tailored towards a realistic competitive type of playing. I think the guns feel great. I think they are pretty fairly balanced actually. And I also think that with more time, people will understand how to play the game better and how to get a grasp of gunfights towards a different type of gun, a different kind of player. In the beta, there was a ton of camping, so I assume it'll be probably less than that within the real game. I think the, the few maps that we had, I think they were really fun. The replayability of those across different types of game modes is also very high, which is great because that means more people will want to keep playing more games. You won't leave so many lobbies. You won't have so many empty lobbies. But getting the same map like three times back to back is kind of annoying. So once there's more maps within the pool, I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be a great addition to how the game fares. What I think is really cool is how Infinity Ward decided to take a completely different approach to the rest of the game as opposed to just the multiplayer. The multiplayer is going to have to have some work to it, but I think once they smooth out some of the glitches and the details that were just in the main multiplayer beta and fix some of the servers, I think the multiplayer will be perfect for a full year's worth of Call of Duty and probably even more. The campaign, however, is going to actually push the limits of Call of Duty. We're going to see more controversial content than I think we've ever seen in a Call of Duty game, as well as face some actual difficult decisions. If you haven't seen my Modern Warfare 2v2 video yet, go ahead and watch it. It was a couple of weeks ago, and I talk about in that video how this game actually makes you feel intense and scared and gets you, it gets your blood pumping whenever you're playing such frantic game modes, and playing a campaign that makes you feel that same way is just going to be a great addition for sure. I do believe that when the bigger game modes get released, if there are bigger game modes than the 20v20 domination and the even a possibly 32v32 team deathmatch or domination, I think that'll just add to the playability of the game. It'll feel more intense. It'll feel like you're in an actual scenario that you need to get out of. And I think that's great. I think that's going to definitely help with this game's lifespan. It'll, it'll help the community overall because you won't be seeing the same thing over and over again. It's not just some old game reskinned. They've got something for everybody and they are actually showing value of community input. Look at the way the minimap was brought back. People complained about it so much and now there's a, the realism mode that takes away the minimap completely and then by default the minimap is now enabled. Now of course people are upset about it still because it doesn't show gunfire. If you want that type of stuff I'm sure they'll add it but then there's also game modes for people who don't want that. Personally I think that was a great addition to not have it by default but it's the community it's how it is we'll live with it. Another thing I think the community will kind of value from is that there's not a standard for this game yet. There's nothing that's too crazy and there's nothing that's not super cool. This is a brand new game. This is almost, it's like they recreated a brand new franchise just by creating this game. And there's not a standard for it yet. And when there is a community standard, even people who don't meet that, you can still have so much fun on this game. I hit barely even a clip in this game and I was freaking out about it one because I've been on a dry streak for like four years whatever but also I just felt like this was something different I felt like whenever I was working towards unlocking the faster aim down speed for the sniper I just it felt like an actual game it didn't feel like some crazy mechanic had to be done or like I had to buy a bunch of loot crates to get it I think it was worth it. That's kind of just my general overall review, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I talked about a couple of things, and I'm sorry if it seemed really skippy and all over the place. This is just me getting my thoughts out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.